Yes, you can actually start learning AWS without spending a dime. You are welcome to this video today. My focus today is to show you how you can learn AWS for free without spending a dime. I'm going to show you some free resources as well to get you started in AWS. In fact, when I started, I didn't actually spend any money. I started with free resources available, even though at a time I needed to purchase some courses, but I started by utilizing the free resources we have available. And that is what I'm going to be showing you today. I am ready and I believe you are. Let's get started. First way today is how you can make use of AWS free tier and this is actually the starting point right because with this free tier available you can create AWS free tier account. So AWS provides that to allow you use certain AWS services for up to 12 months. Yeah AWS are actually considerate to allow you use some resources for up to 12 months without paying any money. I mean, they, they're, they're actually trying, right? So the resources you can use are um, EC2 instances, S3 storage, RDS databases, and some other resources that are actually many. And this can help you to experiment. It can help you have hands-on experience, okay? So you can gain hands-on experience with AWS without incurring any charges. So I'm going to take you over to my browser to show you how you can get started with this. So over here in my browser, all you need to do is to click on create a free account. That is how to get started. But before that, let me show you the benefit of having a free tier account if you don't want to spend any money paying for bills. Okay, so here we have types of offers and you can actually go for this where you have free 12 months okay so here you can explore the resources and the categories that this offers all right so it covers some resources such as amazon cloud watch ec2 instances that are actually much and in this side you can filter according to the product categories let me scroll down and show you that you know they're actually much here so here we have pages here so you can you know click on each of the pages to see all you have for instance you can use amazon ec2 for 750 hours within these 12 months and you can see others here as well so feel free to explore the services that come with this free tier so to get started all you need to do is to click on create a free account and with that you can start experimenting you can start creating resources and all that and enjoy your 12 months. Now let's talk about AWS free digital training. What is it all about? So AWS actually have some online free trainings you can help make use of all right in your journey. So you can benefit from these digital trainings and we have some platform for that such as AWS Skill Builder which is the platform I'm going to be showing you today. So with that you can explore free trainings all right. For instance if you're looking for AWS Cloud Practitioner Training there is a place where you can search for it in the platform. There are other free trainings available for you so let's get there and I will show you that. So here I have AWS Skill Builder and if I scroll down, you can see we have a bunch of free resources here you can make use of, right? Even though there are actually you know, uh, paid courses here, but there are tons of free resources available here you can make use of to your advantage. For instance, if I want to search for AWS Cloud Practitioner Essential, I can just come here at the search bar and I will type AWS. Cloud Practitioner Essentials. Okay, so we actually have them here depending on your language as well, like this one. Um, yeah, this one is Arabic. We have English as well. And if I scroll down, yeah, this is it over here. All right. So if you click on this resource, it will take you to a place where you actually need to sign up. So any resource you want, as long as it's available, is going to show you. So all you need to do is to type what you need here. OK, so that is it for Skill Builder. This platform is actually a great platform. Uh, in fact, when I started learning AWS, this was the first place I came to. I 
enroll in the free digital training for my cloud practitioner. That was the first resource I used to learn, um, you know, to prepare for my certification. Third one is AWS Well Architected Lab. So what is it all about? This Well Architected Lab is actually a collection of hands-on labs provided by AWS that helps users to understand how to design and operate reliable, secure, and efficient system in cloud using AWS Well Architected Framework, okay? So this lab provides step-by-step -step instructions and guidance to help users learn how to apply best practices and improve their application and workload. So in my browser, I'm going to show you how you can access this Well Architected Lab and enjoy the benefits that comes with it. So this is the Well Architected Lab, okay? From the left-hand side, we can see the Well Architected Framework of AWS. So depending on what you want to learn, you can just go ahead. For instance, if I want to go for Operational Excellence and see the services available for Operational Excellence as well as the lab, right? All I need to do is to click on it. And here you have 100 labs, you have 200 level labs and all that. So this is like the foundational knowledge about this all right this is 200 level so if you want intermediate you go for 200 and yeah that is how it goes so that is it whichever one you are interested in all you need to do is to click on you know anyone like this for instance so after reading the goals, the prerequisite and all that, you can click on start labs, all right? So anyone you want to learn is fine. Let me go back to the next, um, for instance, if I want to go for security, well, all I need to do is to click on it and um, this is all it contains, all right? So depending on the one I'm interested in, all right, I'll just click on it and then click on get started and it will take me to the lab. What we have next, okay, we have AWS workshops. What is it all about? This is actually, you know, AWS workshops that are free. Um, they are hands-on um, based training sessions designed to help users learn how to use AWS services and features effectively. So these workshops are available online and cover a wide range of topics from introductory sessions on AWS fundamentals to advanced topics such as machine learning and serverless computing and stuff like that. You know, workshops are, are typically led by AWS experts and also provide participants with access to AWS accounts and resources to experiment with and practice their skills. So in addition to online workshops, AWS also offer um, in-person workshops at events and conferences is around the world so let's see the online workshop you can enjoy from okay and here we are AWS workshops okay in this website you can go ahead and start practicing okay so there are different techniques and concepts which can you know you can use to solve your business problems you can use it to practice okay so whichever topic you're interested in all you need to do is to come here and type so for instance if I'm interested in machine learning all I need to do is to type machine learning and press enter okay so it will display stuff you know topics around machine learning so i just all i need to do is to scroll and anyone i'm interested in all i need to do is to click on get started okay And here you can enjoy your reading, you can explore and all that. You can click next and next and that. All right. So this is it for workshop. I believe this can help you in your journey. It can help you, you know, to learn different techniques and concepts and, you know, also help you in getting hands-on experience. So now let's see number five of what we have. And that is AWS documentation. Reading AWS documentation is actually essential for anyone looking at, you know, 
learning AWS, okay, or working with AWS. The documentation provides a wealth of information on AWS services and features, including the best practices, troubleshooting, and helping you as well to stay up to date with latest offerings from AWS. So from there, you can, you know, browse depending on the topic you're interested in, all right? So over here, I have AWS documentation. As you can see, find technical documentation for AWS services, SDKs and toolkit, use cases, scenarios and tags. So from here, you can, you know, browse, explore, feel free to locate the service or product you are interested in. For instance, here, if I'm interested in Amazon S3, all I need to do is to click on that and it will take me to S3, okay. If I'm interested in learning more, depending on the topics, the subtopic here, I can explore better, okay. So that is it for if I want the user guide, for instance, I'll click on user guide. And this is it over here. So here I have things about S3, you know, scrolling down, can learn about features of S3 and all that. What we have next is AWS white papers. What is it all about? What is a white paper? This was actually the same question I asked the first time I heard about white paper. I was like, is it like a paper that is white? <laughs> so AWS white paper actually is um, an in-depth document that, you know, provide guidance and best practices on specific topic related to AWS. You know, under the content type, we can, you know, there, there is an option to click on white papers and technical guidance so this is just like um some critical knowledge and best practices to help you we also have technical guides which can you know help more in practical aspects and provide you you know the step-by-step -step instructions for using specific aws services all right so depending on your learning goals and need you may you may find either of both types of documentation useful okay so i'm gonna take you over to the website and show you what aws white paper is all about and this is the aws white papers and guide okay expand your knowledge of the cloud with aws technical content authored by aws and the aws community including the technical white papers technical guides reference materials and reference architecture diagrams if i scroll down and um to take a look at this here we have content type so depending on the content type you want if you want white paper just check this and if you want technical guide you need to check this technical guide if you want the board select the two and the methodology where you have everything the technical you know the technology categories and all that depending on what you want to search for okay so um if I'm interested in technical guide alone, all I need to do is to click on technical guide and click on this guy for instance. And this is AWS security incident response guide. Okay. So you take a look at it, you know, read all you need to do here and all that. So let me go back. So if you're interested in white paper, all you need to do is to check this boss. And you can actually, you know, select the technology category you're interested in, right? So, for instance, if all I need in this compute category is cost optimization, uh, optimization pillar, AWS well architecture framework. If I click on this, let's see what it shows. Okay, yeah. So this is it over here. I can actually go ahead and download this in PDF format. Okay. So that is it for this AWS white paper. So there are terms of services here you can explore. All right. The last but not the least is YouTube. Yes, you're watching this video right now on YouTube, right? So as you know, YouTube is one of the biggest free learning platform. There are tons of free AWS resources, tutorials, and all that on YouTube, okay? And it is free of charge, so feel free to explore it. For instance, my channel is a great place to learn AWS, including courses, you know, gaining hands-on experience, even though it's not limited to AWS alone, and generally helping you in your 
journey to becoming a cloud and devops professional okay so it is important to know you know having shown you all these free resources it is important to note that you know why aws provide free resources for learning that doesn't replace the need for you know you know purchasing courses as it has some benefits that comes with it and then i'm gonna see you in my next video thank you so much for watching this video please before you go kindly like and subscribe to this channel and as well comment in case if you have any question i'll be right there in the comment section and all the websites we explore today i'm gonna be dropping the link so you can access this website and the training platforms to help you get started thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.